Hey guys, Ari here and today I'm bringing you my next video to befriend a dog. I am on day six and let's get started. So the dog is in Walker River, he just moved to the different spot. When you get to the Walker River, all you have to do is just follow the path and you'll see the dog. He is the one that's hoarding all those panda toys. I mean, share them with the rest of us. So, for me, it looks like the dog is not glitchy anymore, but it may not be the case for some of you. So, I'll still put all the maps and all the information in the video. Alrighty, after interacting with the dog, you follow him to the first house in the furthest corner of the map. Right over here. So after you catch up with the dog, he goes inside the house and wants you to find him a new plush. The toy is on the bookcase, right over here, it should be really obvious. You click on it and you talk with the dog, I mean interact with the dog. And he runs out and towards the next destination. And of course he chooses the path that has the most infected. I actually had to stop and kill them. Gee, thanks doggy. You better not be leading me into traps when we go out into the world adventuring. Okay, so after passing through all the infected, you go to the next house. And right through the door there should be a bookcase with a blue octopus. You pick up the octopus and apparently it has a huge bell on it because it alarms all the infected in the area and you have to kill like what 17 of them? I mean that's a good part of a neighborhood block. Okay so after killing them you finish the objective and you go back to the dog. You give him the toy, he still doesn't like it and continues off on his merry way. That's where I got a little bit sidetracked by the world boss. And I'm going to speed it up here because it's going to take a while. All you do is punch him or cut him until he explodes. Love the imagery. When speeding up the video, it sounds weird. It's like, how am I supposed to describe that? something weird okay I'm not gonna spend too much time trying to describe the noise we'll just continue on after the boss so we killed him and I actually got pretty decent loot by decent loot I'm always happy to get at least 1000 experience and some kind of marks from him the rest is and I continued on to the next part. The dog was already waiting for me. Apparently the infected really don't care about him. Unless you're actually his owner, then they will probably care. So here I had to fight, fight off a bunch of trackers. The ones that stalk you. And in the bathroom there is a wardrobe or a closet with a frog on top of it you pick up the frog the dog still doesn't like it and he continues on he stops near a fire camp and tells you to go to the next house and find him another toy after fight fighting off a bunch of infected you pick up the toy behind the laptop it's a panda, the one that he discarded before. So he now wants the panda back. And that is it for the quest. I get my XP, my reputation, and a level up. And of course, I love how when you level up, you get this one obvious choice of what you pick and the rest is just sucky. So goodbye, and I will see you soon.